Good afternoon, guys. Hey, I uh, didn't plan on making a video, so I do not have my tripod, but I'm gonna do a quick video. Um, replacing a shear pin in a Aaron's Classic 24 snowblower. There's a piece of wood stuck in the auger, and I'm gonna see if I could do a real quick uh, video without a tripod, one-handed, replacing a shear pin. Let's see how it goes. Welcome to Let's Fix Things. Aaron's Classic 24 snowblower, got the auger jammed. This side's good. This side, obviously, it's just a piece of wood in there. I gotta do this one-handed. Try to get that wood out. Let's see. You know what? Let's see if I can prop this up. I tried propping up the phone. Like I said, I don't have my tripod. I tried propping up the phone while I yanked this out, but I ended up using a shovel handle to turn this backwards and to pop it out. So let me get out of the light. So basically a shear pin is made to break and it goes through this hole, through the center shaft of the gearbox. There's a drive shaft that goes all along and it's made as a sacrifice. This breaks, this bolt breaks before you break this or you break the gears in there. And the new Aaron's, if you go up on the chute, they give you two spares. And you can see on the bolt, they have those two grooves in it. Those are the weak points. That is where it's designed to break. That is a diameter of the internal shaft that's inside this one. This is just a hollow shaft going around a solid shaft. So now basically what you have to do is you have to line this hole up with the hole that's on the inside. And that is why they put a little nice little point on these things. So you can use it as a punch if need be and tap it, tap your old one out and new one in. And you just don't want to over tighten them. So... We'll see if we can do that now. Try to find the old hole using this, tap it through, pop the old one out, throw the old one away so it doesn't end up in a tire, and then put the new one in. There's Dusty. There's Tiger. Hey, buddy. What's up? How are you? You wanna hold the camera, bud? You wanna hold the camera for me? Huh? You wanna hold the camera, buddy? Two boys, two good boys. All right, I'll put you over here. See if I'll try setting the camera up again, leaning it up against something. The bolt is uh, seven sixteenths, and I have an adjustable. So we got to try to find. There it is. Let's see if you can see it. Just turn it carefully. Let's see. Turn it carefully, and then it pushes in, and the old one falls out, new one goes in, and I just gotta put the bolt on, right there. Put you back over there. Take the old one out. There's a new one. Put the bolt in. There was a shear pin. Here's a piece that was stuck inside the axle, as you can see on this other spare. It is a size in between. There, those two weak points. Those are intentionally put there because that's the weak spot for it to break. You don't want to replace these. You really don't have to with a bolt, a regular bolt. I know some people put grade eight bolts in it, 
But what happens is those are so hard, you'll actually strip the gears before the bolt break sometimes. So you don't want to do that. And that's it. Good to go. Always try to pre-check your equipment before your snowstorm. Start them up. Make sure your share pins are good. Make sure you have extra share pins. And make sure you have your tools just in case. You never know. You never know uh, what you're going to hit underneath the snow. I always try to make a uh, double check the driveways and sidewalks before to make sure there's no sticks in there. Try to prevent some of it. Thanks for watching. All right, those are my two helpers for the snow. That's Dusty on the ground and Tiger up in the driver's seat. What you guys doing? What you doing? What you doing, buddy? Huh, Tiger? Come here. Come here. Huh? What you doing? Huh? Yeah, come on. We gotta go finish fishing the snowblower. Come on. Come on. Let's go, boy. No.